Hello, welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to create an automated sync between Google Sheets and Airtable. In this scenario, we'll use an example Google Sheet which contains stock data. Let's say this is the information that you are exporting out of your stock brokerage or this is the information that you are changing yourself manually. So this is the data that we would like to export and keep it synced with Airtable. In Airtable, we have created a similar base that within the table has columns that are matching our Google Sheet. So we have the name, we have the quantity, we have the price, we have the value, and for the last modified field, we have used the automated last modified field. Okay, so to synchronize this sheet with Airtable, we will be using Integromat. So the first step will be to use the add-on within our Google Sheets. We go to add-ons and click get an add-on. We search for Integromat. And create an individual or domain install. After approving the permission, we can find our add-on within the Integromat menu, add-ons Integromat, and we click on the settings. Now the next step will be to go into the Integromat and create a new scenario. We'll create a new scenario from blank and the first module will be Google Sheets. Inside of Google Sheets, we'll select Watch Changes. This will allow us to create a webhook that we'll use for that particular scenario. We copy the web address of the webhook that was generated and paste it into the settings of Integromat add-on. We can close the add-on and right now any change to this scenario will trigger changes in our Integromat scenario. So we can test it by changing the quantity of Oracle to let's say 1. And we can see that that change has been noticed by Integromat. So we can see that the old value is 2, the new value is 1. Now what we need to do is reflect those changes inside of Airtable. So we will add Airtable module. And the first module will be not create a new record, will be actually search record, because we want to see whether this value actually already exists inside of our Airtable. We select our connection, we select the base, and we select the table which we will be searching for. And in our case, we will create a formula that would be using the name as a unique identifier. So in this case, the name of the stock will be considered as the unique identifier to sync the rows between the sheets and the air table. So here we'll be also using the field name. So we need to create a formula which will be name equals name equals the first column of our sheet. The next step will be to create a divider, create a router. And add two possible directions. If the scenario, if the unique value already exists, we'll create update record. If this is a new value, we'll click create a new record. To determine whether this is a new record or whether this is a current record that should be updated, we'll take uh, results of this search and if it's no, if this is no search results returned, if the number of bundles coming out from this element is equal to zero, we'll create a new record. If it's more than zero, we'll update the existing record. Total number of bundles not equal to zero means we are updating an already existing record. Total number of bundles equals to zero means we are creating a new record. So to create a new record, we select our base. And we need to fill out the values to update. We 
click OK. And for the update of the record, we again select the table and the base. As a record ID, so we know which record ID to update, we are using the ID that was retrieved if the search was successful in the search records module. We put the ID here. Since we were searching by the name, there should be no changes to the name, so the name should remain the same. We'll update the quantity, we'll update the price. Valuable. All right, so the scenario is complete, and now we can run it and see how the scenario works. Oh, there's a quick error in the scenario. I have forgot to put the quotation brackets around the name of the variable. So the, if this needs to have quotation marks, so Airtable knows that this is that this is a value, not the name of a column inside of Airtable. Okay, so we're gonna run it again, and we're gonna click process existing. So this will process the value that was already sent. We can see there was no search results, so a new entry has been created inside of Airtable. This is new entry. Let's delete the empty rows. And now let's do some modification to, to the other ones. Let's say, let's change the updated date. Even though the field updated date is not being used inside of Airtable, we are still having that data being triggered and we are having uh, any updates caused by that field carried over to the Integromat scenario. At the moment, this execution is running bundles one by one, but let's run all of them. Let's turn on the scheduling as an immediate means that any changes to that Google Sheet will be automatically carried over. So now we can see all the rows have been carried over to Airtable and we can immediately check whether there is any update based on the changes that we are doing. Let's change everything to 10. This one, let's say 15 and 10. And we can see the Integromat working and doing the updates. I hope this video is gonna be useful for you and if you like it, please subscribe to the channel.